folks, get ready for another cold night across the region. We do have freeze warnings in effect for the entire CSRA. These are actually probably going to continue again tomorrow night. We have most of the region underneath a freeze watch heading into tomorrow night, Thursday morning. So this is just kind of put out before they do switch this to a freeze warning once we're about 24 hours out from those freezing temps again. So I'd imagine the next couple of mornings, uh, places like Bushfield away from the city environment, very high chance that those locations do get down into the mid and upper 20s over the next couple of mornings. As we end the Friday and Saturday, we are going to warm up. That's going to be ahead of our next front moving in. Decent rain chances late Friday through early uh, Saturday morning, and then we are going to see another drop in those temps as we head late to the weekend and early next week. We have a nice afternoon looking at SRP Park. Actually, some high school baseball going on. We have Fox Creek taking on Silver Bluff. This is the JV game. We have the varsity game that's going to start after this around 7 o'clock. So if you do want to Check out some high school baseball tonight. We are expecting dry weather. Just bundle up. Temperatures right now at SRP are in the mid 50s, and we're going to see these temperatures drop into the 40s as we head towards the end of game time. By the time we get to around 2, 3 a.m. tonight, that's when we're expecting those temperatures to get close to freezing. So this is going to be a solid four, five, possibly even six hour stretch of freezing temperatures across the region. So once again, protect those sensitive outdoor plants. Make sure your outdoor pets have a way to stay warm as well. With clear skies tonight, though, it should be a great opportunity to check out the space station. This one only lasts three minutes, so it's not going to be in the sky too long for us to see it. But we do have clear skies and just look up at 921 towards the northwestern sky should be visible to most of us. Now remember inside the metro, I would say if you live between downtown Augusta and the Augusta Mall, urban temperatures should stay in the mid 30s. This is thanks to our urban heat island effect. So outside of those spots, we are going to see a cold start to the day, most likely mid and upper 20s right around sunrise Wednesday. We'll likely see similar temperatures again heading into Thursday morning. Throughout the day tomorrow, we are going to hang on to plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer into the afternoon, should at least be able to see the 60s. So uh, today we did stay into the 50s for highs, so just a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon. These are our low temperatures early Thursday, once again back down into the 20s for most spots, but hanging on to dry weather. Late Friday into early Saturday, this is going to be our next approaching front that does look to bring us a pretty decent opportunity for some rainfall. Right now, the Weather Prediction Center does have our western counties underneath a low flash flood risk. Not expecting a lot of flooding weather for us, but both long range models are hitting at anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rainfall could be heavy at times. So that's going to show up late Friday into early Saturday. But as far as temperatures go, the next couple of nights, a little March madness for us with some cold temps in the 20s. Riley, thanks. Hard to believe we're just two days away from March 